November is Warrior Care Month at the Defense Department. As part of the DOD's recognition of wounded warriors, the Pentagon hosted the fourth annual Joint Services Sitting Volleyball Tournament. Lance Corporal Aria Herrera reports on the Marine Corps' journey to the top. These Marine wounded warriors come from all over the country, but they share one goal. This is an opportunity for them to compete and not just by themselves, but to be part of something. They're having fun and they're part of a team and they're competing and they have something to look forward to. You know, it's not just, oh, you know, I, I've been injured. This is something that transcends that. It's a confidence booster because it lets you realize you can still do things. You know, just because you're an amputee, single, double, below the knee, above the knee, there's, it's all up to you on whether or not you stop from continuing on with what you used to do. So mentally, I mean, it's all about heart. It's about how bad do you want to get out there, how bad do you want to stay with what you were doing. The Marines fought through the tournament and into the championship game where they defeated the Army taking first place. The Marine participants say they enjoyed the opportunity to compete. It was awesome. It was rough. It was a lot of good games, a lot of intense games, um, and I mean, it was, it was awesome, it was fun, it was, it was a blast. Glad I came, glad everybody got together. Uh, it's not always like a sad story, you know, there's a lot of story of success and triumph with these guys, you know, they're, they don't just lay down, you know, they fight, and that's the biggest thing. The next step for these Marines is to return home and to continue to show their strength in their everyday lives. Reporting from the Pentagon, I'm Lance Corporal Aria Herrera. For more information on Warrior Care Month, go to warriorcare.mil.